Greetings, today I'm going to guide you on how to use the ARM control software interface to control the robotic arm. So we are powered up and the first thing I should do is at the communications group I should select the port that I'm connected to, in this case it's COM3 and I click connect now we are connected so uh, to control the arm we have the control group and we have six scroll bars and every scroll bar is for a different servo motor of the, of the arm so one way to control the arm is to just drag the, the scroll bar to the desired position and we can see the position is written here in degrees okay so I can move all of the motors independently right now you may wonder what actually is represented here so uh, these positions are measured in degrees relative to the calibration point at, uh, at which we should calibrate the arm so I'm gonna show you how to do that now to, to calibrate the arm you first need to disconnect all of the discs fr from the moving parts and which means the the disk should stay on the servo but disconnected from the part it is actually moving now uh, we need to calibrate all of the motors before we connect them back and we need to uh, set the limits of uh, each positions now I've done this by defining the the physical limit that the the part can move, let's say servo number zero which will move uh, this axis is calibrated to zero at this position because uh, ov over this position if the servo will continue rotating it, uh, it will collide with the with the part that it's, uh, it's connected to so to avoid that we need to uh, set up the zero limit at this point and now we can rotate this motor uh, 180 degrees until it meets the the other end of the of the scale okay so in the software it's uh, automatically uh, uh, made until uh, 180 so I cannot move it further some uh, motors can be moved even up to uh, 270 degrees but uh, not in this case so to calibrate the arm you need to open uh, the software uh, connect the connect the Arduino and all of the motors of course but uh, disassemble the screws that connected to the moving parts and then set it to these positions now server 0 is set to 0 1 is set to 180 which is right here okay uh, servo 2 to 0 3 to 0 and it should uh, go until here before it collides uh, servo 4 is, doesn't really matter because it's a rotational part it rotates the claw and it do, cannot actually collide with anything, but uh, I, I've said uh, I've said the zero point right here. Okay, now the claw. Let me move this to ninety so you can see. Is calibrated to zero degrees at its widest point, and its maximum position is seventy, at which it closes okay so this is how you calibrate the arm now another way to move 
the arm you can actually set the position in degrees right here inside of the uh, of these bars and then press the update button in the communications group and the arm will move to the position that you've set okay so this is how you use the control group and another feature that we have here is uh, the programming mode now if I uh, click on the program mode the control uh, settings are disabled but now I can write here in the terminal I can write um, the uh, I can write commands uh, that will be transmitted to the arm and it will move according to them so let's say I write 157 the way we do this is we just write the positions one after the other so let me continue with 143 28 120 space 120 space 0 and and th these are the positions of the six servos and 157 is servo number 0, 143 is uh, servo number 1 and it keeps climbing now uh, the last thing we should write here is the um, the time delay before the next function so if uh, let's say I write here 3 seconds it means that when the arm is moved to this position it will wait three seconds before moving to the next position okay so let's say at the next stage I want to uh, close the clock so I put in 70 degrees and then let's say uh, wait for one second and then the, the next uh, command and the next command etc so uh, now that we uh, we have uh, the the command set we can press run and the arm will move uh, to the position we told it and wait three seconds then close the clock okay so uh, we're done and we can actually save these commands for for later and we just press save and give it a name and it is saved we can exit and we can load the program we just made and it is loaded we can run it okay so for now it, it's already at that position but it just opened the clock we can also stop it during its process and it will exit the the programming mode okay and then we can uh, continue moving of the parts the the control group is actually updated to the arms current position after after the program we have loaded so uh, there will be no problem controlling it right afterwards okay so this is all you need to know about the uh, the control interface and i hope you enjoyed the video and uh, good luck in your projects